What's going on NFL fans? It's Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports and coming up here on today's show, I'm going to be looking at an NFL playoff picture and then I'm going to tell you who's going to be the top seeds in the AFC, in the NFC. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of a superstitious person. So like the video or else your team will not make the playoffs. I don't make the rules around here. I'm just simply saying, if you don't like this video, your team is not going to make the playoffs. Now, I did this video last week, and I changed a few things because, let's face it, certain teams played a lot better after this week. And now the current NFC playoff picture, the Green Bay Packers are the number one seed with a 10-3 record. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers at number two. Arizona Cardinals, they lost to the Rams on Monday Night Football. They're sitting there at 10-3. and three. The Cowboys. 9-4. and four. Then you got the Rams, the 49ers, and the Washington football team rounding out all the teams who would currently make the playoffs if they were to end today. So what you guys are going to see on today's show is I'm going to go through all the schedules of the teams in the playoffs, and I'm going to tell you whether or not they're going to win, which games they're going to win. So let's look here at the Packers schedule. Baltimore, Cleveland, Minnesota and Detroit. I really truly believe that Green Bay is the best team in the NFL. So I have them winning out their final four games, which gives them a projected record of 14 and 3. Let's go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now, where their schedule is, well, kind of a cupcake walk, if I'm being honest. You got the Saints, Carolina twice, and the New York Jets. Tom Brady's not losing any of these games, I'm telling y'all right now. So the Buccaneers. They're going to finish with a 14-3 and record, which then brings us up with the Arizona Cardinals, who, realistically, I think their only tough games are Dallas might be tough. Actually, Indy's probably a pretty tough game as well. Seattle, we'll see which team shows up, though. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks, I could see giving them a little bit of trouble. But even though Arizona... Probably not going to have DeAndre Hopkins for the rest of the season. I still think that they're going to be able to win out. They're a talented football team offensively and defensively. So Arizona also going to finish with a 14-3 and record. So with I got being, what, three teams basically finishing 14-3, and who's going to be the number one seed in the NFC? I want you to go down in the comments section and let me know what you're thinking. Who is going to be the number one seed in the NFC? I bet you some of you guys are going to be typing Cowboys just because I know we have such a big Cowboys following here on Chat Sports. But their final schedule, you got a lot of division rivalry games, Arizona in Week 17. I basically already told you that I see the Cardinals winning that game. So here's what the Cowboys are going to finish off with. You're going to win three out of your final four games, giving you a record of 12-5. and five. If you were Dallas and you were to tell me that, hey, at the end of the season, you're going to be 12-5. and five. I think most Cowboy fans would be very, very happy at that point. Jeff behind the scenes nodding his head like this. And yeah, most teams would feel very good about that. So those were the division leaders. Now let's look at the teams at the wild card because you got the Rams, you got the 49ers, and the Washington football team. We're obviously going to start here with Los Angeles as the five seed coming off a major win over the Arizona Cardinals on Monday Night Football. Seattle, Minnesota, out Baltimore against the 49ers. I like what I saw out of Los Angeles, and I have them winning every single game from here on out. The fact that you're going to be able to take down Russell Wilson. Minnesota's a really hard team to be able to figure out. The Ravens, what's going to be the health factor on that unit? Because Lamar Jackson, they're not going to have Marlon Humphrey. And honestly, I think the game that's going to give them the most trouble is this final game here, up against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, always we say, hey, you know, like the video, subscribe. We want you guys to interact with us. And I really, truly believe that we don't enough or say enough thank you. So to the 271,000 subscribers that this YouTube channel has, I just want to take a second and I want to say thanks. We appreciate your participation. We appreciate your loyalty. And to the people who aren't a part of the Chat Sports family yet, take a second, hit that subscribe button, stay up to date on everything going on around the NFL. Let's now look at the San Francisco 49ers, and I actually thought the 49ers would lose to the Cincinnati Bengals last week, and you know what? I took an L in that. So now you got Atlanta, Tennessee, Houston. Those are three wins. Unfortunately, the Los Angeles Rams are one of the toughest teams in the league. I have them losing that game, finishing out winning three of their final four games, which gives the 49ers a 10-7 record. San Francisco at the beginning of the season... 
If you would have told me that they would have finished 10 and 7, I might have laughed at you a little bit. But the ability to get Debo Samuel involved, you have George Kittle in there as well. I have them finishing out with a 10 and 7 record. Let's go to the team that needs to get a name the Washington football team. You got the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Eagles, and the Giants. Holy NFC East, that's what I have to say. Even though this division is pretty weak, I do have Washington losing their next two games and then winning their final two games. So what you really have here is kind of an interesting situation for Washington because realistically you're sitting here, you're wondering, all right, how can they finish this off? How can they be in a little bit of a better situation from top to bottom? So Washington, I have them finishing this thing out with a 9-8 and eight record. So which then puts us here, my projected NFC playoff picture. And even though some people might get mad at me for some of the things that you see on here, so be it, it's all good, but this is the projected NFC playoff picture I have so far. Now, if anybody out there wants to go ahead and bet on these NFL games, if you want to bet on Week 15, if you want to bet on the Super Bowl, you want to bet on even more games, college football bowl games, now's the time to do it. All you got to do is go to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL Daily. It's going to get you 125% deposit bonus. So if you put down $100, you're going to get $125 for free to bet with. It's the best deal on the internet. I don't want you guys to miss it. Chatsports.com slash bet. Now, since we did the NFC, I would be a pretty... I'd be pretty bad at my job if we didn't go through the AFC, right? So basically what we just did there for the NFC, we're now going to do with the AFC side of it. As it stands right now, the New England Patriots are the number one seed with a 9-4 and four record. Then you have the Titans, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Baltimore Ravens. So we're first going to run through all the division leader schedules, and I'm going to tell you what games are going to win and which games they're going to lose. Let's look at New England here. Really, really tough slate of games, if I'm being 100% honest. Indianapolis, not easy. Buffalo, definitely not easy. Jacksonville, and shout out to Miami. They've won five in a row. That's not an easy game. Plus, Miami's already beaten New England. However, I have New England winning three out of their final four games, only losing to Buffalo. I see Buffalo getting a little bit of revenge specifically because, well, that last game, with all the wind, with all the crazy weather, I just see Buffalo bouncing back. But New England finished this thing off with a 12-5 and record. What about the Tennessee Titans? The Titans are a team where when they had Derrick Henry, they were one of the best teams, if not the best team in the AFC. Now without Derrick Henry, they've been losing a bunch of games. They don't look that great. Now sure, they were able to win this past week, but I have them losing against Pittsburgh. I have them losing to San Francisco. I have them losing to Miami, and then I have them beating the Houston Texans. So you go from being 9-4, and four, following all the way down to 10-7. and seven. Will that be good enough to make the playoffs? Well, you're going to have to sit here and find out. So after everything, we just went through the Titans and the Patriots. Who is going to be the number one seed in the AFC? If I'm being 100% honest with you, the team, you actually haven't seen them yet on this show. So that being said, let's go to the team that I see being that number one seed. Spoiler alert, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. This team was once 3-4, and four, and I don't see them losing another game during the regular season. They're going to win these final four games, and they're going to go with a 13-4 and four record into the playoffs and getting that number one seed. The next team coming up here is the Baltimore Ravens. You got Lamar Jackson injury issues. You just lost your top cornerback, and from what I've seen from this team in recent weeks, they're really starting to slow down. So currently with an 8-5 and five record, I have them losing three out of their final four games, beating the Pittsburgh Steelers in that game they need to be able to get into the playoffs. So, lost to Green Bay, lost to Cincinnati, lost to the Rams. That's a very tough slate of games here for Baltimore. Now, if you guys see your favorite team and you're like, what the hell, man? I think you're ripping on us. You can always hit me up on Instagram, at MitchellRens365. I try to keep you guys up to date on... Uh, NFL news, fantasy football, all that kind of good stuff. But if you want to defend your team, because I don't have them making the playoffs, please hit me up and yell at me on Instagram. Let's look at the wild card teams now. You got the Chargers, the Colts, and the Buffalo Bills all sitting there. Chargers 8-5, and five. Colts both sitting there with the Buffalo at 7-6. and six. So let's look at the Chargers here. You got Week 15 up against Kansas City. You're going to lose that game. 
though I see them winning the remainder games. Now, the toughest game is probably going to be Week 17 up against the Denver Broncos simply because the Texans are bad. The Raiders have basically totally given up at this point. So, Los Angeles, you're going to finish with an 11-6 and record, which kind of sucks for them because 11-6, and I mean, that would win some divisions, but... You're in the AFC West. What's really going to be interesting is can the Broncos figure out a way to get in in the AFC West as well. So out of some of the teams that were not in the playoffs as it stands right now in the AFC and even in the NFC, what team do you think is going to be able to squeak their way in? When I really think about the team that's the most likely, I think the Bengals have definitely a shot. Even the Philadelphia Eagles, they deserve some love too because if the Eagles can take care of business with their final schedule, they have a real shot to be able to go ahead and get in. Let's look at now the Indianapolis Colts. This is the team that I picked last week that wasn't in the playoff picture to be able to squeak their way in. They got the Patriots, the Cardinals, the Raiders, and the Jaguars. It's a pretty tough set of games their next two weeks, and I have them losing to New England and losing to Arizona. If you give Bill Belichick two weeks to be able to prepare, which... He's had two weeks to be able to prepare for Indianapolis. I just don't see how he loses that game. Losing the Cardinals on the road is a tough one, but then you're going to beat the Raiders. You're going to beat the Jaguars, giving you a 9-8 and eight record, which then means the final team we're going to talk about here is the Buffalo Bills. Carolina, New England, Atlanta, New York Jets. Tough games. Well, only one of these games, I would say, is realistically tough. And even though Buffalo is 7-6 and six, and really the seventh seed on the outside potentially looking in, I just think that they're one of the best teams in the league. I really, truly do. I have them going 11-6. and six. Sure, their running game is really nowhere to be found, but they have one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League in Josh Allen. You have Stephon Diggs and an elite defense. So here's what we got, y'all. Here's my projected AFC playoff picture when it's all said and done. I have the Chiefs, Patriots, Titans, Bengals squeaking their way in because I had them beating the Baltimore Ravens and if you guys haven't noticed I don't have the Ravens making the playoffs I think they have too many injuries I think they're going to lose some games down the stretch which then gives the Chargers the Bills at the five and six and then the Colts with the number seven seed with a nine and eight record and the reason the Colts get in over the Browns, over Baltimore, division overall record, and then the reason why they get in over Miami is because Indianapolis beat Miami early on in the season 27-17. to Now that was it, NFC, AFC. We're going to keep doing these videos because the videos have been doing well to make sure that you never miss anything going on around the NFL. NBA, college football, hit that big red button, and if you are one of our loyal 271,000 subs, take that link that you see below and send it to some friends.